Hello, welcome to GeoAI tutorial number eight. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do card detection from array imagery using deep learning and uh, GeoAI. So the, before we get into the details, I would like to show you the result. So this is the map of card detection from the array imagery. And so the red uh, rectangles here, these are all the card detected using the deep learning with just a couple lines of code using the GeoAI package. You can see it aligns pretty well uh, with the cards. And uh, there's also a slider here that you can slide through to see the changes. Of course, you're going to see some outliers here. I will show you how to remove them uh, pretty easily using some uh, filtering. But overall, the, looks, the result looks pretty good. So this is just the initial output from the model. Then after you do the um, um, filtering, you will get so much better. So let's dive into it to see how you can apply this one to do card detection on any airy imagery that's high resolution enough that can be detected. Okay, next, I'm going to show you where you want to get the notebook. You can go to the GeoAI uh, website. The link is in the video description below. In the last couple of videos, I have shown how to install the package, how to download the data, and how to, to do building detection. So today, I want to do, <coughs> excuse me, do car detection. On the code and the website, go to examples, scroll down, and find car detection. And from there, you can open the link to uh, run this one in Google Collab. So make sure you're going to change the runtime type to T4 GPU because we're going to use a GPU to do inferencing. So uh, if you're on CPU, you're going to be much slower. You can also scroll down here. You can see the um, basically the result. So the notebook has been executed. You can actually see the output at the very bottom here. So this is the interactive method. You can zoom in and you can see here the result. Um, this one right now has some issues. You will see the boundary doesn't align very well with the um, the car. And it took me several hours today just to debug what's the issue because the algorithm is the same. I get good results on my local computer, but it's just bad result when it's deployed to cloud. It turns out that it's a NumPy issue. So uh, on my local computer, I have NumPy 1.26.4, and the result looks great. But for NumPy 2.x, it doesn't look good, so I don't know why. It's NumPy or it might be OpenCV or it might be SciPy. So right now, I don't know which one caused the issue. I also test it on my local computer. So I'm just going to show you here. The black color is the, the mask, the uh, output from the deep learning and the GeoAI package. And the mask looks great. It just aligns very well with the, uh, the cast. The only thing is the outline. So the yellow one is the one Basically, the simplification, the building, uh, the car outlines from uh, NumPy 1.26.4. If I use NumPy 2. Point something, the results just look like this. The algorithm is the same, so I don't know what's, what's going on yet. If you want to uh, know the details, you can go to the API reference under uh, Extract Module, then scroll down to find Car Detector, and there's a function called Vectorize Mask. If you scroll down here, you should be able to see all the source code. It's not that complicated, but I don't know why NumPy 2.0 um, version 2 doesn't really work very well. I need to spend more time to look into that. But for now, I want to show you how you can uh, utilize this to do card detection. So let me go back to the notebook. Again, you can run this one, collab, or you can download this one, click the download button to download this one to computer. I already have that on my computer, so I'm just going to restart the kernel and then we can start from the very beginning. The first step is to just import the library, so just import GeoAI. You don't need any other packages. Everything will work under the hood uh, very well. Then I'm going to load a sample data set. So this is the one that I put on Hugging Face. It's a car data set, uh, high resolution area image with uh, 7 centimeter resolution. If you need more data, sample data for other parts of the world, you can use the uh, open area map. So this website has tons of tons of uh, high resolution aerial imagery around the globe. If you are interested in detecting cars, you might be able to find some images that have a lot of cars. And then you can download the data. Then you can just replace the sample data here with your own data. So once you download the data, uh, I can also visualize the raster. So for this one here, you can look, take a look at this. So this is the imagery, what it looks like, seven centimeter. So this file is just roughly 95 um, megabytes, so it's not too big. And you can zoom in and zoom out. You can see there are a lot of cards um, here. And we're going to use this to 
uh, is the sample data to detect cars. So all we need to do is just to initialize the model. So we're going to basically use the <coughs> GeoAI car detector. Once you initialize the model, uh, by the way, if this is the first time you're running this, it's going to download the model, the pre-trained model from uh, Hugging Face. Once you have the model, then we can just call one function detector dot generate mass. You passing the uh, imagery, the five pass, the error imagery. So keep in mind this imagery is uh, geo reference. So it's from error imagery. We can over there on uh, the GI um, software, and you can specify the output is this. Also set the confidence level, the mass threshold, and also the overlay. Uh, let me run this one just to quickly. Uh, you can see the progress bar. Under the hood, it's going to subdivide this image into smaller tiles, and then you're going to fit all the tiles into the uh, deep learning algorithm. Then to do the geo, uh, uh, the the inferencing. You can control some of these parameters here. The smaller the number, the less confident you're going to end up with more cards. But you might have some false positive. If you increase the number to too big, then you might miss some of the cards that's not being detected. So I think 0.5 usually is a good uh, a number to use. The mass ratio, I would recommend using 0.7 because if you use a smaller number, some of the cards will be merged together. Sometimes the two cards are very close to each other. And when they do the detection, sometimes they merge them. So it becomes a large object. So you might want to increase this one if you see many cards are being merged together. Also, the overlap is uh, the tile between the, the, the overlap between each tile. Because when we are doing the detection, you don't want to exactly the subdivide into smaller pieces because some of the cards might be along the border. Uh, the age of different types. So you want to have some over that. So here we use 25%. It's pretty should be enough. And the chip size by default is um, 512 by 512. You can change it if you want to just uh, set chip size equal to and then have a tuple. Uh, it should be enough. So after that, you should have the mask. So this will be the output mask. I can show you here on the left side. You should be able to find this one, the car mask. So this is the one that's being generated uh, from the the, the algorithm. So basically we have the raster mask. Then the next step will be to um, vectorize. So we're going to vectorize because we want to count how many cars. Uh, we also want to calculate the geometry properties, the size, uh, and other geometry information. So here, oh, by the way, so the output mask actually contains two layers. The first layer is just the binary mask. And the second layer is the confidence. So basically the uh, uncertainty. And so we're going to vectorize using these two data layers. Again, you don't need to open the mask. If you want, I can show you here. This is what it looks like. So this would be the mask I'm opening desktop GIS in here. So the black color, this would be the raster mask output from the imagery. And it actually contains two uh, spectral bands inside. If you go to the symbology, and here will be band one and band two. So band one is just the uh, binary imagery, yes or no. Band two would be just the um, uncertainty. So basically the confidence, and you will see here, white color represent high confidence, uh, gray color may represent uh, lower confidence. If you want, you can just use this um, inspect uh, identifier here, click, you'll be able to see the value. So for example, this value is 176, uh, 176, this one is 249. So the confidence is uh, going to range from zero to 255. You can divide by 255, you want to get from zero to one. So basically, and this shows you overall. You can clearly see some of the uncertainty. For example, this one is very low. The value is only um, 154, okay? So it's like low confidence. We can filter it out later, but this is just showing you the model outputs uh, one imagery with two bands. The first band is the, the car mask. The second band is the confidence. All right, so once you have these two, now we can call the function to vectorize. Just detect a vectorize, and then it's going to loop through the uh, the imagery. Under the hood, it's going to use Sci, uh, SciPy to uh, do the region groups. So we're going to do all the image, all the all the pixels connected together. It's going to perform a single object because sometimes uh, a car has different color. It might be accidentally uh, detected as two objects. So in this case, we can merge them together. Overall, you see here we have one hundred and twenty-seven connected components, and it's going to loop through the component, convert to uh, vector data and then also do the simplification, then we generate the uh, output. And it's still running. So you can also set the minimum object size. If you, for example, for the car, so this is seven centimeter, um, if you square, then you're going to be 0.49, or almost 0.5 square meter, multiplied by the number of pixels. So this would be 
uh, depends on all of, uh, um, uh, how many, the, the square centimeter. So we can do we can also set the uh, filter after we get the um, uh, data frame, basically the vector data. So I'll show you later. Okay, it's done. And you can see the result. We have saved 1,001 cars for this imagery. So you can certainly see some of the cars have been merged together as uh, connected components. The next step is to actually uh, add geometry attributes. Let me show you this one first, uh, just to show you what it looks like. So GTF dot hey, this one right now only has uh, three columns. The first column is the geometry. The second column is the confidence. So basically showing you the probability of the each polygon and the higher the better the value range from zero to one the class may be or just basically all one that means they're all cars because we only detect the cars the foreground objects and in order to do filtering you for example we want to calculate the size and other orientation all those attributes just call this function geoai dot geometry properties and then run this line again we can just uh, print out the attribute here take a look so now we have a lot of attributes available ranging from area square meters, length, perimeter, air, uh, area bounding boxes, um, major axis length, minor axis, eccentricity, orientation, elongation, uh, extent, uh, solidity, complexity. I cover this one in uh, this uh, um, attributes in the previous video, calculating geometry uh, property. So if you're interested in you can learn more details uh, in there. So once you have this, now we can uh, visualize the data interactively. So I'm going to call the uh, view uh, vector interactive. And you can use one of the column to do visualization. Upper right here, you should be able to see the, the color bar. So the confidence range from 0.5 to 0.95. Because earlier when we do the uh, extraction, we set the minimum like a mass ratio of 0.5. That's why all of them are greater than 0.5. But clearly right now, if you see, right, so the, the yellow color means high confidence. The, kind of a, a blue color represent lower confidence. So for example, some of these has relatively lower confidence. That means it's not, the model is not 100% sure. And you also might have some artifacts, for example, something like this. Although this one is quite high, 0.93, this one is like 0.6. And we can actually filter out this one. This one, we went to use other criteria because it's relatively small, but uh, we will deal with that uh, later. Okay, so this is just the output and you can see, just a couple lines of code, then you have this um, cars detected and looks pretty good. I think most of the cars have been detected, except some of those might be under the tree, uh, maybe along the border, some some of the, the cars in here. It's not being detected because these are quite challenging because only cover a small portion of that. Also, you might have a long, really long truck because this one is uh, the model is pre trained on mostly for cars. So for the trucks, it doesn't perform very well, but we can maybe have another video showing how to do the fine tuning to um, to get better results. Okay, so uh, this is the initial results basically with the geometry. Now we can do the filtering. So we can filter cars by size because most of the cars, if you uh, hover your mouse, take a look at the area. So roughly, for example, 10, uh, 12 square meters, 10. If this is very small, for example, this one is only nine, but this one also is nine. If it's very, very small, that means it probably is not a car. It's just a tiny object. Maybe I can show you this one, right? So this one, the area is only 3.9, and this is not the cars. So at least you can use the area to remove those, right? This one is also just less than one. This one is the five. So easily, you can just use the um, area. So we can just call uh, area greater than eight. So that means we want our car to be greater than eight. You can also have other criteria. The other one will be, all right, this one is just way too big. If you have your mouse, this, the size is like 200 square meters. It's, there's no car. This is just like the uh, solar panel on the rooftop. So this one is way too big. We can also remove it. And I think in general, because the car width, usually the length may be four or five meters and uh, the width may be two meters, around two meters. So roughly it will be between 10 to 20 meters. If a car, if the object is like um, 200 meters, 100 meters, most likely it's not a car. But certainly like maybe some trucks, for example, in this case, this one is also 50 something. Um, so it's a big one. And I think we can safely assume that uh, it needs to be also le um, less than 200 meters. So I'm going to maybe have a parenthesis here together. And then N, then GDF. 
here is m2 square 2 less than 100 okay and let's see how many are left so right now we have 1001 the original one i forgot to see how many here so length um gtf oops oh you need to have parentheses otherwise it's not selecting so that's why it's not getting me the correct result and run this one okay so now we have five nine hundred and fifty seven that means we have fit out um twenty five a uh, fifth a uh, uh, forty five cars that are not cars basically small objects now we can visualize the result so this we can still use the competence and take a look some of those uh, smaller ones have been removed I think this one might be still a uh, little bit too tiny but we can also remove by competence so you can also set a competence level if it's less than for example 0.8 or, or 0.7 then you remove that but the problem is that you might also accidentally remove some other cards that are actually cards for example this one is uh, 0.69 but this one is a card so you might need to use some additional criteria but at least right now this part is gone so good results also there might be some other cards in this case these are two detected together as a single object so if you set the vice uh the, the area to be too small then you might also accidentally remove some of this so you need to be careful but uh, there's still room for improvement but this is just very low efforts you just a couple lines of code right, and then run it now you get the result uh, pretty cool and uh we can also create a split map or um oh this one we can visualize the deck on the uh, without the confidence so just plot that it's just going to show you the outline it's basically the same but this is just using the shape not using any columns to visualize the data the last one is a split map so if you want to create a split map to visualize the data side by side this might be useful so right now it's showing all the red color and on the right shows you just the original area imagery right so and it doesn't matter with if the car is part uh, the direction is horizontal or vertical it can able to see like diagonal so if the direction is like this the model still will be able to actually detect that and also give you the simplified bounding box it looks pretty nice so again try to play with it you can apply with some other data um i think this one also needs to be filled out because this is very elongated so if the it is very narrow for example if the uh, minor axis length is less than maybe one meter you probably remove it so you can go back to change the criteria from here if you let me show you one more time here where is it where is that one so basically the geometry properties has the if you see here uh, let me zoom in there's a major length minor length so usually for each car the minor length should be at least one to two meters uh to one to three meter for example if it's too tiny very narrow less than one meter most likely it's not a car so those are maybe artificial objects that you can filter out using the uh, geo pandas um the pandas uh, filtering here you can add another criteria and oh for example here let me show you so this would be a good example the minor length is only 1.3 meters so you can specify okay it need to be uh, greater than 1.5 in order to be a car real car object then you can just run again uh, you can get uh, better results okay so that's what i want to show you um and you're welcome to try it out with your own data leave a comment down below uh, if you <coughs> find this useful or if you uh, encounter any issues and if you have any good suggestions happy to incorporate into the algorithm to make this uh, even better so all you need is just an uh, imagery it doesn't matter how big is imagery so under the hood the image will be subdivided into smaller tiles and then the model pre-trained model will be able to detect and give you the vector result then you can overlay the data on interactive map vector data you can count how many cars you can also know the size uh, the orientation uh, and that kind of information so uh, very useful okay so that's all for this video i will see you uh, in the next video